The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater, here with some fresh, brand new Star Wars news for you. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and also check out my last video because it greatly helps out the channel. So let's get into it. So we just had the premiere for Ahsoka last night and critics got to see the first two episodes early. And on top of that, today it was announced that Ahsoka will be premiering a day early on Disney Plus. So instead of the 23rd, it's gonna be coming out August 22nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's a nice change of plans. So let's get into these uh, critic reviews and see what they thought. So the first two episodes of Star Wars' new Disney Plus series, Ahsoka, have gone out to the critics who shed their reactions on social media. After viewing screeners for the first two episodes, posting quick views on X, formerly Twitter, if you guys know. The first reactions were largely positive, with critics praising Rosario Dawson's performance, as well as the series' action sequences and the Star Wars lore connections. Klein Felt gave special props to Natasha Louis Bordizio for her live action performance as Sabine Wren. She said, the first two episodes of Ahsoka are pure Star Wars bliss. This is for Rebels what I'd hope Obi-Wan would been for the prequels. Rosario Dawson shines, but it's Natasha Lou Bordizio Sabine who blew me away. Ahsoka is the Disney Plus Jedi epic fans have been waiting for. Collider's Steven Weintraub was impressed with the action and the story told in the first two episodes noted that it was super easy to follow, even for those who haven't seen Star Wars The Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels. He said, First two episodes of Ahsoka are really good, even if you've never seen Rebels or Clone Wars, it's super easy to follow, impressed with the action and how it's all story. No side missions or filler, can't wait to see episode 3, wish I could watch future episodes on the movie screen. Gizmondo's Jermaine Lucier sees a lot of potential in Ahsoka and felt the ties back to Rebels, although he felt it was oddly flat at times as well. He said, I think Ahsoka has a lot of potential. As a Rebels fan, I felt connection to that was truly special, and yet it was hugely epic at some times and oddly flat at others. Sabine is the standout throughout, and by episode two, I was fully sucked in. It could go south, but I don't think it will. Totally Films' Molly Edwards felt classic Star Wars vibe from the series while also noting parts of it felt more fresh, highlighting the complex bond between Ahsoka and Sabine along with the villains and lightsaber fights. She said, Ahsoka is epic. It got those classic Star Wars vibes while also feeling very fresh. The first episodes set the scene vividly while intriguing villains, a complex bond between Ahsoka and Sabine, and some awesome lightsaber duels already. I think we're really in for a treat. Forbes' Jeff Conway gay called the first two episodes a true visual spectacle while praising Rosario Dawson's performance, specifically touching on incredible fight scenes and the themes brought to life. I just watched the first two episodes of Ahsoka. It's a true visual spectacle. Rosario Dawson's phenomenal as the titular star. The fight scenes are epic and heart pounding. The story has a rich history and great themes about second chances and female empowerment. Comic books Joe Smith saw Ahsoka as the sequel to Rebels that fans have wanted, also saying it only falls short of Andor in terms of comparisons to other Star Wars Disney Plus entries. He said, Ahsoka is definitely the sequel to Rebels that Star Wars fans have been waiting for. While it's not perfect, it looks better than most other D Plus productions like Mando and Boba, but not on the level of Andor. Love the focus on Sabine Wren, but can see where casuals get lost. Comicbook.com's Jamie Jirak commented on how much fans will enjoy the show in combination with Rebels, explaining that it was made for animation fans. She said, I enjoyed the first two episodes of Ahsoka. I'm relieved I recently got into Star Wars Rebels because this show was made for animation fans. You'll still be able to follow along, but it might not hit as hard. More thoughts coming to my TikTok ASAP. In conclusion, women rule. Comicbook.com's Jenna Anderson made a mental note to watch more things that Sabine and Hera are in, noting her lack of surprise at how cool Bordizio and Mary Elizabeth Weinstead were in their roles. My biggest takeaway from the first two episodes of Ahsoka is I need to watch more things that Sabine and Hera are in because I love them both. Natasha Lou Bordizio and Mary Elizabeth Weinstead are surprisingly excellent. Deciders Megan O'Keefe gave showrunner Dave Filoni props for lovingly bringing his rebels to life 
in a meaningful way that ties back to Star Wars lore, also praising Bordizio as early MVP. She went on to say, Initial Ahsoka thoughts. Dave Filoni lovely brings his rebels to life in a story that embraces mythology, magic, and lore in a way that could turn off, say, Andor fans. Slower paced than expected, but still enthralling for this rebels fan. Natasha Louis Bazizio is my early MVP. Comicbook.com's Brandon Davis described the series as a straight continuation of Rebels while noting that it moves slowly and brought a fantastic score and a couple of great action scenes. Ahsoka is a straight continuation of Rebels, feeding the animation fans looking for more with these characters. Otherwise, it moves slowly but with a great score and occasional action scenes carrying optimistic for an exciting series with heavy lifting done in the first two episodes. In versus Jacob Kleinman commented that the plot moves pretty fast even with an easy opening describing the villains as equally terrifying and fascinating while also praising Hera and Sabine. He said, I saw the first two episodes of Ahsoka earlier tonight and it kind of rules. There's a lot of narrative hand holding early on but the plot still moves pretty fast. The new villains are equally terrifying and fascinating. Hera and Sabine both rock. I can't wait to see what's next. Next, Bex Pictures' Lauren Lamango celebrated a show for its multiple Force-sensitive women, expressing excitement to see a full story for both Sabine and Ahsoka moving forward. I really enjoyed the first two episodes of Ahsoka. Rosario Dawson is so at home in her adaptation of the character, but it's Natasha, Lou Bedizio, and her Sabine that steals your heart. Can't wait to see her as Ahsoka's full story. Also, multiple force sensitive women. Can I get a hell yeah? Variety's Jazz Tanka enjoyed the great score and loved the visuals in the first two episodes of Ahsoka, giving her desire to revisit Clone Wars in the near future. Just saw the first two episodes of Ahsoka, great score and loved all the visuals, especially the fight scenes. Adore Kevin Kiner's score. This makes me want to revisit Clone Wars, and yes, Rosario Dawson is great. Looking forward to the rest of the series. On a more negative note, journalist Christian Modalo saw the first two episodes and thought they were incredibly slow and wooden, calling the visuals hit or miss while expressing feelings that newcomers to the series may not be able to follow along. He said, the first two episodes of Ahsoka are incredibly slow and wooden. Rosario Dawson is very flat in the title role. Natasha Lee Bedizio is a standout. Visuals are a hit or miss. Some feel low budget at times. Super fans may enjoy the show, but newcomer slash casual fans will be lost. Buzzfeed Jonathan Sims saw a mixed bag in a series highlighting its ties to both Clone Wars and Rebels while describing the writing as mediocre. He said, the first two episodes of Ahsoka are mixed bag, a gorgeously crafted continuation of the world and characters from Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and Star Wars Rebels, mixed with mediocre writing. The characters are not investing yet, particularly the villains. Great potential. So is Ahsoka set to be a Star Wars winner? Given how much fans love Ahsoka's journey in Rebels, seeing it play such an important role in her solo series will be a fantastic sign for those who are hoping to see the animated adventure truly move forward. Seeing Sabine Wren and Harrison Dula win so much favor so far with screeners can only be a good sign as the show's supporting cast looks to succeed, particularly with so much of Rebels crew playing such a key role alongside Ahsoka herself. Additionally, none of the screeners mentioned Hayden Christensen's return as Anakin Skywalker, leaving many anxious to see how Star Wars' most powerful Jedi could reignite his relationship with his former Padawan in live action. And with many already looking ahead to what a second season of Ahsoka could deliver, the series appears to be off to a flying start with Rosario Dawson and crew wowing critics setting the stage for something truly epic. Wow, that's very, very interesting. I'm kind of glad for the most part that all these first takes and reactions were generally positive, highlighting um, not only Ahsoka, but mostly Sabine. But then again, it seems that most of these people who watch the show haven't really watched Clone Wars or especially Rebels. If you watch Rebels, like you already know this character, you already know who she is, her strengths, her weaknesses, you know, her passions, everything. So I'm thinking most of the people who saw this are like, okay, wow, this is this new cool character that's along with Ahsoka for the ride. Uh, it's also interesting to see the, the couple negative, you know, uh, reviews, which were mostly like highlighting the writing. But then again, like I said, this is probably coming from people who haven't watched Star Wars Rebels, which I can understand why they probably wouldn't like it. And then they also are bumping up the date. So instead of 
premiering on Wednesday. It's going to premiering on Tuesday, August 22nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's going to be cool. So a day early. Can't wait to see it myself. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about these reactions from critics. Let me know how you think the series is going to go. Let me know you guys' thoughts and comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to your channel, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That'd be great. Anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.